Factors that affect the rate of reaction. The five factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction are temperature, concentration, particle size, pressure, and the use of a catalyst. Before we have a look at the effect that temperature has on the rate of a reaction, we'll have a quick look at the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve. And here it is, and it shows the number of particles that have a certain value of kinetic energy plotted against the values of kinetic energy. So on the y-axis, you have the number of particles with kinetic energy E, and on the x-axis, you have their value of kinetic energy. The area under the curve shows the total number of particles in the sample. And at a certain temperature, the particles in the sample have a range of kinetic energies. On this distribution curve, we have this red arrow, which is the activation energy. And the activation energy is the minimum energy that particles must have for a chemical reaction to occur. So the white area, which is this large white area here, that shows the proportion of particles that do not have enough energy to react. They have energy less than the activation energy. The blue area here shows the proportion of particles that have enough energy to react. They have kinetic energy greater than the activation energy. So now we'll have a look at the effect that increasing the temperature has on the rate of a reaction. Here we can compare the two Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curves for two samples of gas, one at 300K and one at 310K. The area under the two curves is equal, as it represents the total number of particles in the sample. And we have this blue area, and we have the shaded area here. The blue area represents the number of particles with energy greater than the activation energy at 300 Kelvin. The shaded part represents the number of particles with energy greater than activation energy at 310 K. So as you can see, at 310 K, there's a greater proportion of particles that have energy greater than the activation energy. So increasing the temperature increases the average kinetic energy of the particles in a sample of gas. At 310 K, a greater proportion of particles have energy greater than the activation energy. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. Next is concentration. Increasing the concentration of reactants increases the rate of reaction. On the left, we have a sample with a high concentration. So there are many particles and there's more chance of a successful collision between the particles. On the right, we have a low concentration. So there are fewer particles that means there's less chance of a successful collision between the particles. So as the concentration increases, the frequency of collisions between reactant particles increases. Therefore, the frequency of successful collisions also increases, and that will result in an increased rate of reaction. Particle size. So decreasing the particle size increases the rate of reaction. So dust and powders react faster than large pieces. And that's because smaller particles have greater surface area and therefore increased frequency of collisions between reactant particles. So here we can see the effect of decreasing the particle size. Large pieces react slowly. And as we increase the surface area by decreasing the particle size, we end up with a powder which has a very fast rate of reaction. Next is pressure. Increasing the pressure in a gaseous reaction increases the rate of reaction. And that's because when pressure is increased, the frequency of successful collisions increases, therefore increasing the rate of reaction. 